Hi, welcome to this video date, 29th of December, it's Thursday. Now in terms of today's video, we're going to be looking at low risk, high profit potential entries. In terms of this, I want to look at three pairs, Euro against the USD, also Euro JPY, and finally a Euro correlated currency against the USD, which is going to be USD against the Polish <coughs> Zloty. Now in terms of getting low risk, high profit potential entries. Very often uh, we like to use a 20 day moving average with support and resistance. So we just go through the technique when we get to the charts. We also like it when you've got a bullish extreme. Now there's a bullish extreme in the Euro. Speculators heavily long of the Euro. Also in Euro JPY and they're short the dollar against the PLN, which means that if we get an entry, hopefully we can get strong follow through to the upside. Now, in terms of looking at these three opportunities, we're going to go to the charts right now. But just before we do so, if you want to learn all our trading techniques, check out our strategy and also our daily technical sentiment analysis, 14 FX pairs. Just go to the link beneath this video and get life access to our member center for a limited period. We're bringing life access to an end soon and moving to an annual subscription. We can lock it in now with a discount of membership details beneath the video. Also, finally, you can join our Facebook group of traders if you wish and follow our Facebook page. Right, let's go and take a look at the opportunities. First one, Euro USD. All right, Euro USD monthly chart to see the big picture before we get to the daily chart draw levels of entry stop and target. What we can see here is a downtrend that starts in June 2021 and it lasts really till September of this year. Then we get a bounce and basically we bounce 1100 pips to come up to test 107.40, the tail over here, testing the bodies over here. Okay. Now I know uh, we're still blue on the month, but I think this tail high could well hold. If it does, we can sell weakness and look for a move down to 1000. So I'm looking for a 600 pip break to the downside. Now in terms of um, making that ambitious target, um, you need to know what speculators are doing in their positioning. So I just want to show you speculative positioning. This is on the COT net traders positions released by the CFTC and it shows non-commercials that speculators, hedge funds, etc. their net position green bars okay uh, against euro USD the price and what we can see is when we rally here look at how speculators have loaded up on longs they've done it quickly okay now this position is elevated and we think speculators could get taken out on stop trigger a stop hit and a big move to the downside in euro USD now in terms of the COT net trades positions I'm just going to show you another chart which um, comes from COT base and this one we've got large speculators or small speculators as well against commercials okay now in terms of commercials when we see a big divergence between speculators and commercials that is warning of a trend change okay why because commercials will only move aggressively um, in terms of selling or buying if they think prices have moved too far from fair value okay they're hedgers they don't lose any money so when they basically move aggressively the big divergence against large speculators we're looking for a break in favor of the commercials now in terms of cot net traders positions have only just briefly gone through how we use them here if you want to know in more detail how the report works and how it can help you just check out our video cot net traders indicator right now we do shift to the daily chart of euro usd all right euro usd just before we draw our levels just want to go through why speculators are bullish of the euro um point number one ecb to raise interest rates at their recent meeting they were hawkish more hawkish than the market expected, but I think that's now in the price. Now that candle here, the red, is the ECB day candle. We got above 107, came back. Is that the exhaustion of speculative buying? We're just traveling sideways at the moment, okay? Now, in terms of the market, it's also seen the energy crisis is over 
in eurozone gas prices uh, recently just got back to pre-Russia Ukraine war levels okay so that's really a bullish fundamental for the zone but prices are not really pushing up much are they we're just traveling sideways market only expects a mild recession in eurozone next year um that's in the price but we expect a long and deep recession you can check out an article beneath this video on why we expect that okay but if a mild recession occurs in the price usd bullish fundamentals well interest rate differential is in its favor now and going forward even if the ecb deliver the rate hikes the market expects which we don't think they will but if they do in the price interest rate differential favors the usd us dollar is a global uh, reserve currency so when you've got a recession in the global economy and we are seeing that start to unfold that is traditionally bullish the usd also any risk off so if we get stock market falls, which we expect, that will firm the USD. Also geopolitical problems. Now, in terms of a geopolitical problem that's going to get worse very shortly is the Russia-Ukraine war. That's why we're so bullish of the USD against the Polish <laughs> Zloty. Um, it'll also weigh on the euro. I'll go through why we think the war is going to take a nasty turn when I do USD PLN. But we think the good news is in for the euro now in terms of the euro we break above the 20-day moving average the green line there you very often see in strong uptrends it's a layer of support we haven't even touched it uh since really the start of november now if it were to give way that basically could indicate the end of the uptrend now in terms of what we're doing we're traveling sideways there is a level of support okay if i could get my line straight just in line with the 20 day moving average i'm going to say 105 60 is a good level to sell then you've got resistance on the bodies okay sorry i'm probably drawing my line straight two bodies over there poke there can't get through uh and then you've got resistance on this tail here behind 107 so my view B is if it comes through the 20-day moving average and this level of support, got low volatility at the moment, could change the high as the speculators are hit on stop. Okay. Now, in terms of support, and I'm doing support levels, uh, sort of kind of in line with how big the speculative position is. Um, so from our experience, COT, big position, speculators have in Euro USD at the moment, a stop hit could easily take us down to 102 and we may even run on to the psychological 1000 level so it's a very simple trade break lower look for follow through stop behind this tail initially but you get a nice thread just tuck it behind the 107 level so an entry i'm going to say 107.50 and then if we get a nice thread follow through you can just bring it behind 107 20 just behind the round number right we're on uh, euro jpy i'm just going to use the chart from our member center now in terms of the euro bearish fundamentals we've gone through them i think the yen are uh, just extremely bullish of the yen going forward i think it could be the strongest currency next year and i'm not going to cover the yen bullish fundamentals in this video I'll do a separate video later today or tomorrow on the yen there's also an article a link beneath this video on our research blog of our bullish yen view now in terms of this movement on the chart here big red comes down very often you find when you get a big move like that come outside of an outer bond band the orange line you'll revert back to the mean price which is the 20-day moving average green line okay now that for us is a correction of oversold we're looking to sell the euro so what are we going to do we're going to sell it either through the low of the day you can see my level up there 141.80 stop back behind the 20-day moving average and resistance the 20 days should act as resistance if our bearish view is correct okay so in terms on a break lower it's about five to one to our first target 136 then we're looking for monthly support at 132 
Okay, so just really bullish, or sorry, bearish of the euro, bullish of the yen. Um, if we were however to flick up from here to the 20 day first level resistance, we'll sell at 143, then put our stop at 144.40, back behind the next round number effectively, okay? Now, in terms of in this pair as well, uh, speculators are heavily long the euro, so we're looking for them to get taken out on stop 136, then 132. So in terms of um, the yen, like I said, just extremely bullish in a number of pairs. I'll cover the rest of the pairs in the video I do later. But yeah, very, very bullish of the yen. Um, so this looks a good risk reward trade setup in our view. Now we're going to finish up with USD PLN. All right, uh, USD PLN. You can see USD's had a big move to the downside. We're looking now for a big reversal to the upside. Now, in terms of the fundamentals, uh, if the euro goes down, that pressures the zloty. Obviously, uh, Poland big exposure to eurozone. Also, uh, I think there will be a big escalation in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Unfortunately, now in terms of mainstream media. It's almost like Ukraine is winning the war, okay? And there's a lot of um, talk in the mainstream media that Russia will not or cannot uh, do a big ground offensive um, soon. Uh, they are going to do one very, very shortly, in our view, which will create real, well, obviously, it's going to create huge problems in terms of refugees coming to Poland, etc. Uh, that will weigh on the slotty. Now, I will write up. Um, my view on why we will get that big ground offensive uh, i'll put it on my blog but even if that didn't occur um i think the usd is stretched on the downside and we're going to see a rally now in terms of here we break you can see where my cursor is back in october come below the 20-day moving average then we find resistance into it nearly get to the 20-day moving average there fall away again nearly fall away, then no touch until here. Um, we made a new low, we count touch at 20, came back. Yesterday we got through, settled below. Today earlier we got through and we're moving south. Now we've already got a position in with a stop behind the south to bond Japan, the 435 level, clear of the support level. And we want to add to our position on an upside breakout. Now, in terms of the level to watch, it's 443. That's through yesterday's high. If we get through again, I think we'll then follow through to the upside. I probably will double our position size. I'll probably triple it actually. Um, it's only a small position at the moment, but yeah, I think we're getting ready for a big move. And if you did come in above the level, it doesn't follow through for you, just take the trade out. Okay. <laughs> So we'll see, but I think a break higher, follow through to 470, then 480. So yeah, there's three pairs to look out for. Uh, we'll see what happens with them and I'll update them in my weekly forecast, which I'll do at the weekend. But that is the video for today. Hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching.